Aloha, everyone. I'm in Hawaii. This is my hotel room, and I'm one of the only people in the world that has access to this device. Making this my office. This is a reference device using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8CX processor, and I've partnered with Qualcomm to get early hands-on. I mean, this thing won't even be announced for another two days at the time I'm filming this. I mean, by the time you're watching this, it'll have been announced. But anyway, more on this in a second. So I'm in Hawaii for the Qualcomm Snapdragon Tech Summit, which is an annual summit where they make a lot of cool announcements. This year, they've already announced 5G what what launch party and a new Snapdragon 855 mobile processor, which promises to give us better, faster phones with elite gaming technology and smarter fingerprint sensors and all sorts of cool stuff. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about this. So what exactly is this? Great question. It's a reference unit, meaning it's never actually going to be sold to consumers. This is just a device designed so that people can see the 8CX processor in use. Now there's gonna be tons of manufacturers that use the 8CX processor to produce their own units. So what exactly can it do? Remember that ACPC video I made a little while ago on my channel? If you don't, you can uh, check out the link to that up here and in the description. Well, this is the next generation of that. To sum up what that video was about, in case you missed it, it was the Asus NovaGo Always Connected PC. It had crazy good battery life. It had an LTE modem with gigabit speed. It was always on, always connected, and you could get it with a Sprint $20 a month unlimited data plan. Pretty cool idea. Now, the original Always Connected PC ran Windows 10 in S mode, and there were a lot of people out there who thought, I love the fact that it's always connected. I love that it's fanless so that it's portable and light, but it's not quite fast enough for me, or I'd really like it to run full Windows 10. Well, this is your solution. In my opinion, some of the coolest things that the 8CX processor will translate to from a user experience is A, that it's always connected. It's got a built-in modem, and with the recent announcement of 5G actually becoming a reality in 2019 from AT&T and Verizon and T-Mobile, this could mean that our laptops could be connected anywhere. You know, you think about all the devices that are bragging about internet of things now, that your washing machine's always connected, et cetera, et cetera. How cool would it be to be on your commute to work or to school and able to just open up and use your laptop? Seven nanometer chips have been the holy grail of CPU manufacturing, and now it's finally here, and it's finally here from Qualcomm, which is awesome. This is Qualcomm's first ever built from the ground up to be four PCs CPU. So this isn't something that we're gonna see in phones. This is for PCs exclusively. Some of the highlights of what I'm told the 8CX processor will be able to do is quick charge up to 50% in only 15 minutes. Awesome. Have multi-day battery life, which I can tell you, even with the previous tier of this product, the Asus NovaGo, I use that as my travel computer for exactly that reason. It lasts so long between charges, and this one is supposed to go multi-days. It's not even measured in hours, it's measured measured in days, which is awesome. Of course, it's always connected, meaning that you can use it anywhere. I can use it at the beach. I've been testing it out all over Maui. say, just to make sure, you know, I'm connected anywhere. Now, one of the key differences I wanna point out is that the units powered by 8CX are able to run Windows 10 Enterprise, no longer only Windows 10 in S mode. The previous version, you could switch over to 10 Pro if you wanted to, but you might not see the performance that you would expect from that. This has the performance to do Windows 10 Enterprise. So if you're a corporation and you want to get devices for your employees, this now has the security to be for you. But moreover, for my use case, if I wanna play Steam games when I'm on the go, or if I wanna download Premiere and edit a video, I can do that using Windows 10 Enterprise. When I was just using Windows 10 in S mode, I was relegated to browser-based things and apps. So the only games I could play were Minecraft or 
Solitaire or whatever is built in with a Windows Universal app or browse. Now granted, that took care of probably 80 to 85% of what I do almost every day, but this extra bit of functionality makes a huge difference for me. Now yes, this is just a reference unit. And yes, we're just getting announcements here at Tech Summit, but one announcement that goes hand in hand with the 8CX is the unlimited data plans across the board that are coming for between 20 and $25 a month from AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, which is so, so cool. Now, some of these are announced only if it's added to an existing data plan, but the good news is, for me before, I had to have my Sprint plan for my always connected PC, and I use AT&T for my personal phone. Now, if I just wanted to add an unlimited data plan specifically for my ACPC to my current phone line, I could do that easily. Very cool. This is a big, 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 big deal because even myself was skeptical when I first heard about the always connected PCs and I thought, didn't Chromebook try to do this years ago? Because they did. They had Chromebooks that you could get a data plan and put a SIM inside. However, the data plans were nowhere near affordable and the speeds we're not up to where they are now. So especially with us being right on the cusp of 5G, the always connected PC that you can use just as if you were at home on your Wi-Fi, except for when you're out and about, is finally a reality. After a little bit of hands-on time with this reference design, I have found out that it can support up to two 4K displays, hi-fi audio, it's got second gen USB 3.1, as well as third gen PCIe. As you can see, there are two USB-Cs just over here on the unit. So the GPU that's in this puppy is the Qualcomm Adreno 680 Extreme, which is two times faster than its previous generation. And it's able to provide really great PC performance without compromising the battery life. And the Qualcomm Cryo 495 CPU in the 8CX is the fastest processor that Qualcomm has ever made. Eight times faster than the previous generation. The Qualcomm Cryo 495 CPU that's on this chipset delivers octa-core performance without requiring fans. So it's still thin and fanless and light. Qualcomm says that the 8CX delivers double the sustained performance, but at a fraction of the power usage of the competitors. I can't wait to test this thing out. So unfortunately, I have to give this baby back. This is not something that they are going to let me keep, so I'm just gonna set that right there. But the good news is the consumer models will probably be announced at Mobile World Congress and may be available to consumers as early as June. So that has been the sneak peek. Thank you so much to Qualcomm for letting me be one of the few people in the world to touch and try out that unit. I cannot wait to see what the various big PC manufacturers do with this technology and what that means for us as the consumers. Now, I have kind of teased my experience with the reference design was to you guys, but what would you like to see next in PC processing? Let me know in the comments and let me know various ways in which you might find to use an always connected PC. I've shown you some right here in Hawaii, but alas, I also am not in Hawaii all the time. But if I were, it would be beach office 24 seven. So thank you guys so much for watching and aloha. That means goodbye too.